It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Green King and it's a bottle of their IPA Reserve coming in at 5.4% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. It's in clear glass, but with it being described as rich and fruity and probably very malty, hopefully, hopefully, there won't be too much in the way of skunkiness in the beer. Uh, the other reason why we're doing this today, this particular beer, is that it was just announced two hours ago that Green King have been sold to a Hong Kong based property company called CK Holdings for 4.7 billion pounds. That's right, 4.7 billion pounds. Uh, it's wiped out Green King's 1.9 billion pounds worth of debt. But there's a couple of interesting facets that I want to cover cover here in or tidbits if you like and and I want to cover some ground on this sale. It's a monumental day again in the British brewing industry. Um, we had Fuller's a few months ago. We have Green King today as of the I think it's the 19th. Is it the 19th? What's the date today? Monday the 19th of August. 2019. First of all, quick beer review, two finger white head, good levels of carbonation, chestnut, amber coloured beer, clear to look at, let's get the aroma. Yeah, not too much in the way of skunkiness, it's, it's a very malty beer, it's a malt forward beer this one. And it smells okay to be honest. It, it smells a little bit like Old Speckled Hen used to smell like because Old Speckled Hen used to be 5.2%. Now it's it's 5%. This is 5.4%. So it's a very similar beer. It's very Speckled Hen like. Same company. Let's dive in. Cheers. Ooh. Really rich, really malty, really nutty. It's okay. It's an okay beer. Drinkable, quite refreshing. Bitter on the back end. I reckon there's some Styrian Goldings or some Fuggles or some kind of British hop in here that's given a nice bitterness on the back end. Sweetness in the middle. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's not bad. It's not bad. So, um, I messaged, I was down Green King last year. I did a brewery tour at Green King. Check out the video on YouTube if you like. I had a wonderful time there. Um, I got to know Ross Gurney, the head brewer. Um, we've become friends on Facebook. I, I messaged Ross um, with the message, you must be extremely inundated with, with calls and messages right now as, as this takeover has just happened. Um, they're probably on lockdown anyway. They're probably not allowed to say anything to, to people like me. Um, a beer journalist, if you like. Somebody who's interested in this sort of thing. So um, I haven't had an answer from, from Ross yet. Maybe he'll speak to me when he's, when he's allowed to. But um, yeah, I, I just wonder how these people feel. I, I met some wonderful people down at Green King. Um, we drank, we drank, we drank more, then we drank a little bit more, and then we went for a Chinese at the end of the night, and it was terrific. I had a really good night with these people. Um, so you gotta feel, first and foremost, first and foremost is you feel for the people. Um, um, because I, I, I'm, I'm a little unsure. The reason why I say I feel for the people who work for Green King is that I'm a little unsure as to what this deal brings. This company, HK, Holdings, yes, they're from Hong Kong, but they're a property firm. They own lots of property in mainland China. They own power stations, that sort of thing. What's their brewing knowledge? Now, the difference between this sale and the sale of Fuller's is that Asahi, a brewery, bought Fuller's and they purchased the kind of the 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 brands and, and that sort of thing. I think Fuller's still hold on to the brewery. I think they, unless they hold on to their property. 
I think Fulham's have held on to their property and sold the brewery and the the the, the brands like your, your Fuller's London Pride, that sort of thing. So it's a very different beer. They sold their brewery to a brewery. So this brewery knows how to brew. They know what they're doing in terms of brewing pints of beer. They're specialists in it. They've been doing it in Japan for hundreds of years. We've been doing it for hundreds of years. So that kind of was like hand in a glove. The difference so far, I've read a few articles on the internet, I think I read the Sky News one, the BBC News one, is that Bush Kabush, this, this HK Holdings have bought the whole shebang. 2,700 pubs, they've wiped out the debt, and it works out after they've paid the debt, the people of Green King get 2.7 billion pounds. That's for all of the property, the 2,700 pubs, that's for the, the brewing, the brewery, that's for, that's for everything. That's a, the whole of Green King has been sold today. Well, it's going to the shareholders. The, the shareholders have got to accept, but they will accept because the shares went up by 50%. So they're going to get a really good return on their money. Um, I need a swig of beer. So the, the unknown here is... CK Holdings, I believe they're called CK Holdings, this, this Chinese, sorry, Japanese, this Hong Kong based company. What do they know about Bruin? Have they brought, bought the property portfolio? Is there going to be pub closures? Are they going to sell off the unprofitable pubs? Turn them or, or turn them into property, turn them into expensive apartments. If you think of where I live in Barry in the UK, uh, in South Wales, we have a pub that sits right on the old harbour, beautiful old harbour. It's on the corner of the junction, it's called the Ship Hotel. That would be prime kind of apartments. That would be prime luxury apartments. It's a bit of a worry. It's, I, I got to, I mean, it's also, an, I'm so unsure with this because even if you look two, three years ago when Marston's bought Wells and Young's, it was a brewery buying a brewery. It was people who knew what they were doing in the brewing industry buying another brewery. This is a property company. This is, this is somebody who runs power stations buying a piece of British history. It, it, the, the, the brewery is 1799, it's about 300 years old, Green King. Two hundred, two hundred and two hundred and twenty years old, the brewery is, I believe. Mr. Green King, Mr. Green. Green King. Um, so, do, what happens next? That's, that's the main thing. First and foremost, um, I hope that as many jobs as possible can be saved. Um, I hope the brewery continues as a brewery. That's that's another another thing. That's another issue. Um, Bury St Edmunds, wonderful place, but the whole town of Bury St Edmunds more or less is dominated by Green King. Green King is the number one employer of in the town of Bury St Edmunds and probably the surrounding area. Um, yeah. So what happens next? Does the brewery stay open? It seems, I don't know, I know Whitbread did it to themselves. Br Whitbread stopped brewing and, and, and brought out Costa Coffee and Premier Inns. Uh, they built a Premier Inn in, in most of their car parks. It became that profitable that they got out of beer completely and they opened coffee chains called Costa Coffee. One of the most successful coffee chains in the UK. So. My question is, we lost Whitbread. Whitbread were, were kind of everywhere. You still see the Whitbread signs around all old pubs all over the place. Whitbread signs, it's, it's amazing, you still see them. Um, but you don't see any Whitbread beer anymore. Same as Bass. Bass, one of the largest companies producing beer in the UK. Disappeared Bass, so did Whitbread. My worry is Green King, are they about to disappear? 
are they about to stop producing beer? And are some of the profitable pubs going to be sold off for apartments, flats, that sort of thing? I can't see a property company being that interested in a brewer, regardless of the brewer's history. I hope I'm wrong. I seriously hope I'm wrong. Um, it's... It's okay. The beers, I mean, compared to the newer stuff in Tesco's these days, your Cloud Waters, your Brew Dogs, we review, reviewed just, just yesterday. Um, some of your Magic Rocks in Tesco, some of the most amazing beers now. Breweries, fashionable breweries in the UK are making their way into Tesco. Um, Green King are probably not keeping pace with the cutthroat side of the beer industry, with that kind of young, fashionable, kind of like producing amazing New England IPAs, they're kind of not interested in that. So, yeah, it's a worry. It's a worry. But, as always, comments in the comments box. This was, um, Nothing's a surprise these days. Let's talk about that the next subject and I will go away. Nothing's really a surprise anymore. Um, wasn't surprised by Fuller's. Not really surprised by this Green King deal. The UK seems to be, if it was a football club, it would be a selling club. You know, you hear about football clubs becoming selling clubs where they sell their best players. Um, the whole of the UK seems to be happy to sell off all of its great assets to foreign investment it's it's a bit of a worry it's a bit of a worry it really is our crown jewels seem to be in the ownership of of, of, of foreign companies i don't know i don't know what you think about that comment um it just makes us vulnerable, doesn't it? With this whole Brexit thing as well around the corner. It just makes us very vulnerable as a country. I mean, if it doesn't work out, if they, if if Green King's beer sales suddenly go down, would it matter to this property company? They wouldn't blink an eye and they would shut it down. And this is the this is the 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 issue. It's the real issue. Just my opinion. This beer, as I mentioned, is okay. It's okay. It's not bad. Uh, brewing heritage dates back to 1799, they say. Uh, the roots set down by Benjamin Green and Frederick King are embedded in the way we make our beer at our Westgate Brewery today. Green King IPA Reserve is a warming, full-bodied ale with mellow fruit aroma and a reassuringly rich appearance. So they're happy to talk about the... The history and, and, and whatever about, about the brewery. Um, but as always, shareholders. You've got to keep the shareholders happy. Um, is there going to be another buyout? I imagine so. Um, if I can talk about the next buyout, where, it, where do I see it coming from? Um, I was right about Magic Rock. I said Magic Rock. Um, I, they were bought out by the company that makes that famous stout. Can't think of the name of it. Anyway, Magic Rock. My prediction was that it was right. They were bought out. My other prediction, Tiny Rebel Brewing Company. Um, my big prediction is that they will be bought out as a company, as a craft brewer. Um, big guys. Um, Brains Brewery. They saved their skin by selling their brewery for £52 million and moving into a, a, a an industrial unit over Cardiff Bay. They're okay for a few years. They've got money in the bank. They don't need to sell. Shepherd Neen, Britain's oldest brewer, 1698. Again, the problem we have, or, or not, the, it's a good problem for us, is that when I first got into beer, you could go into any supermarket and find Green King IPA, Shepherd Neen Spitfire, Brains SA, Badger Ales, that sort of thing. 
it's all changed very quickly. Last few years, it feels like the rug has been pulled away from the, the older fashioned brewers, the regional brewers in the UK. And the, 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 the young upstarts have really put the pressure on them and they're, they're just producing amazing beer and then beers are now in the supermarket. So, um, maybe, maybe Shepherd Neem. Maybe we seen what we saw Wells and Youngs get bought up by Marston's. Marston's now are a massive, massive company. Marston's may be probably the, the largest regional brewer now. If, if this deal goes ahead, largest independent regional brewer will probably be Marston's after this. Um, that's another thing to think about. Does it matter? I don't know. It might matter to some. I hope they carry on producing beer. There's been many a Christmas where I've had a few cans of old speckled hen. There's been many a Christmas where I've drunk old crafty hen. Um, it's not, as I mentioned, it's not the greatest beer in the world, but it's, it's good day drinking kind of Christmas stuff that um, is nice to fall back on. Rating for Green King IPA, it's a, it's a solid, solid six out of 10. Um, your views, I want all your views in the comments box on this. I'm interested to know what you think about all of this and, 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 and where, what happens next uh, with Green King. But thanks to listen to me rambling on about this. Um, if I've missed anything, please comment in the comments box. I think I've covered everything. Comment, subscribe, boom, cheers.